Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Human Mage playthrough. Today we're going to start off at the Temple of Telhamat, and we're going to head south. We're going to work on Deadly Predators. We need 8 Stone Scythe Whelps and 4 Stone Scythe Alphas. We also need a named one that's back in a cave. This is a group quest, so we'll see if there's anybody else kind of doing the quest at the same time as we are. And if that's the case, we'll try to uh, group up. If we can't find anybody else doing the quest, then we'll try to solo it. We have a we have our water elemental. We have we'll have cold snap. We'll save cold snap, and we'll we'll just see if we can uh, manage to do it on our own. If there aren't any other players around doing it, but I suspect we'll be able to find somebody. Uh, it's uh, pretty pretty populated here right now. Every time I do a slash who, no matter what time of the day, it's uh, finding more than the 50 people, so... Should be fine. Uh, the pools of Aginar stuff, I'm gonna hold off on a little bit, although we're not gonna gain another level here, I don't think, so eventually we are gonna have to do it. Let's take our chances here running through the massive field of vultures, and just kinda pray we don't get dismounted too early. I'd be surprised if we didn't get dismounted at all, but we, uh, we didn't, so that's good. We did get our level 62 spells. I'm kind of torn between using Molten Armor or Mage Armor. I, I, I like having the regen. But, uh, oh, this is... Cause, okay, so this increases our crit with all spells, right? Increases your chance to critically hit with spells. So not just fire spells. Reduce the chance that you will be critically hit. It causes 75 fire damage when we get hit. My goal is to never get hit, basically. So I really don't know how much that benefits us. If we're only benefiting from one of the perks of the ability, it's probably better just to keep using mage armor while leveling. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and get this up. Molten armor might be good to use in dungeons, though. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm interested to have your guys' feedback on molten armor. That's a good start. Oh good, we got this guy too. That's perfect. Go ahead and use evocation early, get that put onto cooldown. Really rather not pull any more of the tunnelers, but they did a good job of sprinkling the tunnelers throughout this area, so you really can't avoid them. In fact, trying to avoid them is probably going to cause more trouble than it's worth, so we're just going to take them on. And get them out of our way. Oh, that's, that's a neat trick. Yeah, the other tunnelers we fought did not have that trick. That's fun. Oh, oh, another one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and mage armor this one. Oh, he's disappearing and reappearing right beneath us. I don't remember them doing that when we took them on on the warrior. Uh, but I guess they're only going to do it if you're at range, right? If you're standing right on top of them, there's really nowhere for them to go. And now we need to drink all of our mana back. So 
So this is the cave right here up ahead. We're gonna fight our way to the back of it, and I think we're gonna try this guy with just the water elemental. It's a three-person quest? I really don't know if we can put out enough DPS to make this work, but I I'd like to try. If worse comes to worse, we could probably just run away. Alright, we're going to need all of our mana back. We're going to do Water Elemental, Icy Veins, Cold Snap, Water Elemental, Icy Veins. Let's hope we can freeze this guy in place. Most of our plan here depends on uh, whether or not we can freeze this guy. We can freeze him. And that was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. So there we go. We can solo a three-person group quest. If we use our tools properly. And I probably didn't play that as smoothly as some people would. Uh, we did, uh, I think we took a couple of hits there that were probably just unnecessary. But either way, uh, it was successful and that's what matters. Very nice way to start things off. Now we just need to find a few more of the whelps. We have taken the talent to extend the range of our frost spells, and I should probably start playing to that a little bit more than I have been, so... I am going to try to initiate pulls at max range when I can. I wonder if they could tunnel if they're frozen in place like they are now. Well, he came with a buddy.
Alright, we're gonna go do the Pools of Aginar stuff and try to get some of that out of the way. That way, once we head over here, we could focus on the stuff that the uh, Cenarian Circle wants us to do. I, I don't think they're gonna have a quest to go into the Pools of Aginar. I, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that we're good to do this now. Terror Fiends. We could do the Maghar as well. Oh, here we go. This is where we go to die. <laughs> Don't get dismounted. Yeah, maybe we can go do the Maghar stuff first. It's, it's up in this little area here. The areas are not connected to each other, I don't think. Uh, let's open up with a sheep on one of these guys. Oh, snap. Didn't expect all of them to pull like that, uh, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah, looting this guy might prove to be challenging. Uh, or just flat out impossible, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get to loot him. That is... unfortunate. Uh, this guy is probably gonna pop off and have a little pet with him, unfortunately. Oh, he... he didn't. The pet just completely vanishes into thin air. It doesn't make sense, but I'll take it. Maybe if we come up this way, we'll be able to loot this guy. Oh, snap. Yeah, that was stupid of me. This guy's got a little pet with him. Which is uh, super unfortunate for us. And his pet has the health of an actual mob. He's not dead, he's just wandering away. That's wonderful. And there goes all of our mana.
Did I mention that I hate fighting hunters? I hate fighting anything that shoots us at range that uh, is not a caster. It's really challenging on the mage. And then of course this guy has the added benefit of having a pet. Which is also not fun to deal with. So maybe we'll try to avoid some of the hunters. Uh, and take on other guys instead. Well, we made pretty short work of that camp. That was actually very satisfying. What isn't satisfying is when you loot a bunch of guys and you get one quest item. Yep. Six dudes, one item. That makes sense. And we need 10 of these too, so could be fighting these guys for a while. And now we kill the one that slept through the entire slaughter. I don't really feel that bad. Let's get some mana back here. We're not going to be much of a mobile turret if we run out of mana. We should get bonus points for uh, freezing him in the middle of the fire. Feel like he should have taken extra damage there. Is it just me, or are these guys going down, like, 
really, really easily. It, it's kind of weird how, how we're just chunking them for all of their health, and they don't really seem able to do much. Uh, we are we are starting to get respawns here. We're gonna have to be really careful. I think the rate at which we're killing these guys is causing the game to spawn them back in pretty much immediately. So we gotta backtrack here a little bit and uh, check our six so we don't get attacked from behind. Let's come back over here. I see all these guys are back up. If I take this guy out, is he gonna pull the other two? We're we're gonna find out. He does not pull the other two. We killed him in two hits. Does that seem right to you guys? Two hits? I mean, this guy's level 61. What's going on with this? I mean, I shouldn't be complaining, but... It's a little bit weird. Maybe they're just especially weak to magic, like a lot of like warriors kind of are. Yeah, there goes a third of your health. Bye-bye. Like, that seems almost unfair. Hmm. They just can't stand up to the crits. That's what it is. Ah, uh, that quest is done. Do we have a clever way to jump down into the pools of ag in our area? It looks like we might. Ah, uh, looks risky. Oh, no. Oh, dear lord. It's a really clever way. Yeah. <laughs> it's called dying instantly. Huh. Okay. Well, I think I can get back there. I think I can just take the path that I took and just jump down as a spirit. That'll get us back to our body. Unfortunately, it was kind of a little bit of a waste of time, right? Obviously, they don't want you just jumping off of there and going on to the next quest. Well, that's okay. That is okay, because otherwise we'd have had to run around, which probably would have been a little faster than the spirit run. But we'll see. We'll get back there and uh, see how much progress we can make here. We need to kill six blistering rot, six terror fiends, and then ten terror fiends also, though, for uh, a different quest. So it looks like we're going to be doubling up uh, on quest over here in this little area. Which is cool. It's always nice when you can double up on quest. Alright, here's the first outpost we cleared. We'll make our way up around the corner here. Yeah, the spirit run might have been faster than the run around, but if we'd have run around, we could have fought some guys near the front.
But at least we ended up with our body being basically where we wanted it. It could have been worse. We could have got stuck way up there somewhere, like dead on the wall. Okay, the teraphines are melting as well. I'm getting kind of worried. Is something broken? <laughs> Did something about our class break? That, that seems a little bit more reasonable. Oh, we need these guys too. I hate these things so much. I hate fighting these slimes, man. Well, he almost hit us. He, he, he almost managed to hit us. Maybe it's the increased range, but we're just getting more shots off before they're even near us, and we're critting so big. Such big, juicy crits. Doubling up on this quest is, like, amazing. I love it. Yeah, they just can't get close to us. It's kind of nuts. Uh, well, I misplayed that. That was- I thought I was gonna do something like really, really clever. Uh, as it turns out, no such thing happened. There we go. I, I wanted to at least kill the little ones with uh, with Blizzard. It worked out okay. Could have been better. I should have just went with the Blizzard uh, instead of trying to freeze them in place. The Blizzard might have been big enough to uh, actually hit all of them. Let's see if we can get some more use out of this guy. Not really. Yeah, kind of a wasted water elemental. Let's also make a mana ruby, although I, I sometimes forget to actually use them. Um, yeah, I would take that off of you, but I don't know what else you have on your aggro chain. That worked better. Probably could have interrupted the blistering rot. 
I like taking out the little ones with a little blizzard. That's actually really effective. Then we don't have to deal with them getting into range and interrupting our casting. We, we can't interrupt that, I guess. Alright, that's six out of six there. Now we're just looking for the rest of our terror fiends. We only need three of them. This guy will be the last one. Uh, we have uh, Overlord Azarius we have to take out, but that's not something we're going to be able to solo. Uh, let's see... Maybe we can get a group for this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, you needed, like, an actual full group to do this. Well, that didn't work. Have to let it tick a couple of times, it seems. Oh, we're oom. Um. That's not good. Your shaman, I still don't think we can, uh, I don't think we can two-man it. Well, what does it say? To, it says recommended three. Yeah, I mean... Here's the thing. We, we might be able to two-man it. I think he summons adds. I think that's, like, the only, like, really detrimental thing about trying to do this with only two people. If we could at least get a third, that would be swell. We could do the water elemental and cold snap and then water elemental again. Doesn't seem like we're getting any takers though. Sometimes you can fill up for these quests really quickly. Other times, not so much. I would love help. I would love any, any kind of help I could get at this point. Uh, help is good. Uh, what do we have here? A 70 warlock. Yeah, we'll, we'll... They're just trying to help and be and be kind, and I appreciate that. Uh, and from where, though? From... Oh, from very close... From flying in rapidly. Yeah, we, we can probably just three man it. Let's let's pull this one. We'll pull the ones that are rotating about. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're going to blow this guy up. I, I really do appreciate that. That's these kinds of quests. That's like one time when I am completely cool with a level 70 coming and helping us. Uh, when we just can't get the people together when we're in the position to do it. Uh, it's just nice to be able to get it done. Let's go ahead and we're going to hearth back to honor hold here. We have two of them to turn in and then we'll fly back out to the Temple of Telamat. And we'll turn in there as well. Arcanon Poros. Greetings. Light be praised, I knew you would do it. Arasius and his minions are no more. Soon we'll have the Legion running for home, and this battered world will be safe once more. Then, when justice has been met, we can return home as well. Thank you, the Alliance and the Sons of Lothar honor you this day. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, let's grab the crit rating and on use spell be damage. Careful. And we're going to go ahead and equip that. It's an actual real trinket. Need to get it out on the bar so I know to click it sometimes. Very, very nice. And we have a couple to turn in over at the uh, temple as well. And once these are all wrapped up, we might have a little bit more follow-up to do with the Maghar. And then once that all that's all wrapped up, we have some stuff to do down here as well. Eriko a threat. We'll tackle this stuff before we do the Cenarian stuff. But yeah, I'm always surprised by like how much there is to do in Hellfire. I would be really interested if any of you guys know like the quest counts for each zone. I could probably look it up. But yeah, I'm curious to know like how many quests are in each zone and if Hellfire is really as much bigger than the other zones as it feels. Because everything, every time I do Hellfire, it, I, I'm reminded by just how much there is to do here. And it's actually great. Hey, if we can hit level 63 before going into Zenger Marsh, I would be pretty happy with that. That would be nice. That would, that would get us ahead a little bit. But that's the thing, is like when you look at the quest levels, like we're not ahead, we're kind of right on par. That being said, we, we've been killing guys in like three hits, so I mean, it feels like we're ahead, you know what I mean? Feels like we're ahead. Yes, I feel the fell presence in the pools weakening. You've done well. I must ask that you now finish what we've set in motion. Now that the demonic influence has weakened, you must take this cleansing vial and pour it into the very source of the taint, Agonar's own corpse. Oh. Do not so we're going to be heading back up there at least once to do something really quickly, it seems. Uh, what's going on with this here? 
Deadly Predators. Uh, not really sure what's happening with that one. Maybe it's a... It's an, oh yeah, they patrol. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, revenge. You did good. Now take this. It was a gift from Sedai. It only makes Ma Maraku sad to see it. Um... Yeah, I don't think any of these are really good for us. Let's take the blade to sell it. Alright, and this guy has another quest. Warm wishes to you. Our history with the orcs is one of constant conflict. We were once near, driven near to extinction due to their bloodlust and have since then avoided them even when not under demonic influence. Yet this retaliation, it's not what Sade would have wanted. Speak with our elder Amon the Wise, he will help shed light on these events. Alright. Guys, I think I'm going to have to take a break here. I need to make dinner and uh... Playing in the evening is, like, not typical for me. I did want to get on and get some things done because I, I don't want to get too far behind my own goals. And uh, we're not going to hit two levels a day for sure, but I wanted to make some progress tonight. Hope you guys don't mind Blessings. the shorter episode. I, I do try to keep them Blessings. around an hour, but this one was not around an hour. Next time I'll make it a little bit longer. We'll finish up what we have to do here in uh, the Pools of Aginar, and we'll go check out these quests down here to the south. And maybe try to finish up with this stuff over here as well. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there. And take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime soon. Bye for now.